Welcome back to the show, Lemonade with the Seth Brothers. This is your host Kunal with my co-host Smita. And our first guest this evening, Lalit Jalan. Lalit, how are you doing today, buddy? Unbelievable. Hey, listen, your story, inspirational. You're only nine years old when you came to America with your family. Did your schooling, did your high school, but you got into your family business at an early age. And you're with your family business for over a decade. But that was a fun job you had. It was. I thought you were partying too much when you were working. You were in the adult beverage industry for over a decade. That's As a young adult, that must have been fun, Lalit. That was fun. <laughs> I knew everybody in the actually on Richmond Strip. You, you know, from Richmond to. Fondanova. I need some stories. I need some masala stories tonight. So Lalit did family business for over a decade, then worked for a corporate America, worked for a company. But the key thing was Lalit in his career never ever burned any bridges and there was one key bridge that he had crossed when he left corporate america and got into the insurance industry that bridge built cities for him and that's exactly what to unfold today lalit welcome to the show thank you thanks so for walk us through your journey about coming to america as a young kid nine years old with all your family cousins everyone and walk us through your life well, you know, uh, I was nine years old. Uh, you know, like, uh, we, I guess we have a common person that sponsored us. Uh, I, I, I won't get, you know, I guess we got the call back in 79, March two, uh, 2000. We got our, v, uh, actually, that's when we landed. That's when the Eastern Airline was, uh, uh, I, actually, we took Pan Am from, from Delhi to uh, New York and got our green card in uh, LaGuardia. Uh, that's the time that... Uh, that's where all the international and then from Eastern Airline, which eventually came Continental a long time ago. So that tells you I came here, uh, started going. I grew up in Sharpstown. And when Sharpstown was, uh, and I know when 59 was a, basically a two lane highway. So, uh, and Sugarland was like, if you went past uh, what you call Bissonette, uh, the, basically that was outside of the town. And, uh, I went to uh, actually DeBakey High. My mom wanted me to be what you call a, a doctor. Uh, uh, she wanted to be a doctor? She wanted to be a doctor. What a surprise. <laughs> Baby <laughs> family, beta, yeah. Dr. Banjao. Yeah. Yeah. No, mommy. I want to have family business of what? Uh, adult uh, beverage uh, industry. Uh, adult beverage. What did your mommy but, say to that? That's right. <laughs> actually, she didn't have a say. So, you know, my dad and uncle, actually, my uncle started. He's still he's still in the business, and we opened up a what you call a drive through. There was a place on Richmond; it's still there. It's called Beverage Barn, and when we opened it up, it was a uh, it was just a beer and wine, and we turned that into you know working seven days. Uh, we had partners, and so I went did some research. You know what? I talked to my uncle uh, Gulshan and to say, you know what? Let's turn this into a liquor store. Nobody in he Greater Houston or nobody in. in, in, in uh, actually in Woodlands or anybody out there had that concept. So we opened up a what you call first drive through liquor store. I so, like that. Uh, 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 so, so. Uh, but how did you go, Lalit, from a drive through liquor store to the insurance business? I mean, that's like poles apart, almost like north and south. Tell you got me. them drunk and said, you need insurance policy. <laughs> that's it. Oh, actually, in the, actually, we're in the business of causing he uh, actual headaches. <laughs> and now I'm in the curing the headaches. So that's, that's, a, right. that's a little my. Uh, so that was it. I, I, you know, it happened by accident. And Gunal, uh, uh, as brother-in-law, uh, who, who's my cousin, who's Suraj, he graduated from HBU, and he got interviewed with New York Life at that time. This is back in 96. And, uh, um, and, and he didn't want to go through because he didn't know anybody in town. He said, Lalit. And then when the recruiter at, at there was Mahmoud Daya, he said, you know what? Uh, he called me up. He said, you know, hey, hey I got your name from uh, Suraj. I want you to come interview. I told Mahmoud, said, you know what? My wife just moved, just got married. I said, you know what? Uh, let me uh, actually put it on it, uh, actually on hold. And then meanwhile, with the flexibility, I got offered uh, to go work for a company called Glazier. They're the liquor distributor in town at that time. Uh, so, you, so you told New York Life, I'm not coming right now. I'm not coming right okay. now. Okay, and then you went to Glazier Wholesale. Glazier, Glazier Wholesale. So, so I, I was at Glazier, and uh, you know, I was working 10, 10 years in the family business. I got to be the, uh, I was the number three guy. You know, I ran most of the operations. 
I ran the bar division for, you know, on the Richmond Strip. So I knew every, back in, a, a, actually my cousin Anukul can attest for that. We knew every bar owner on Richmond. If, you, if, you, if anybody knows back in the mid-90s, Richmond was what uh, Washington is right now. So, so basically, Lalit, before you got into the insurance business, you've been honing your sales skills, right? That, that's it. Yeah. I've been, uh, so uh, uh, I was at Glacier. I was there probably two years. And after being in the Glacier, my territory got cut three times. Uh, you know, so that was your lemon. That was one of my lemons. You were you know, doing really well. Really well. But they could not see a success. I said, Lalit, no more of this. Hey, that idea. Okay, continue. So they, so they cut the territory. So they did it. So actually, that was a, actually turned a blessing in the sky. When I turned out, I, when I started out with Glacier, I got a, a territory which went from 290 all the way up to Woodlands. And when I started off, I started calling all the convenience stores and, uh, and grocery stores in there and liquor stores in there. And then after I get built that territory, they told you, hey, you know, go down into uh, Galveston area. So right before Galveston, anywhere from Beltway, Clear Lake, all the way to Texas City. And so I had that territory. And, and after that, you know, and then my, that territory got cut and Mahmoud called for the third time. And I remember it was a Wednesday. I was coming back from a sales meeting. They said, you know, we're going to move your uh, uh, to actually back in town. I said, you know, I said, let me go try this. Uh, you know, you know, this New York life uh, thing, uh, yeah, New York life thing, you know, because you know, Mammoth, somebody's with that persistent, and I, and I went and tried it out, and I uh, and I told when he called and say, hey, you know, want to come take a look, you know, I'm trying to build my Indian teams at that time. New York life had actually three, uh, uh, uh actually, agent working the Desi market, and one of them was Prakash Dutt. And then uh, I don't know if you know uh, if those know act Mina Dutt's husband, she's on the radio. Her husband and he had written all of our family or everybody in Punjabi. So I'm in the Punjabi community. So he he written every Punjabi community. And then there was a boss Taylor, and then there were, and there was uh, Liakat Momin. There were us four started off with Mahmood's team, and so you we, basically had to go out there and create your own niche. Core niche, and luckily that's where where the lemons that I got from my previous, knowing all the convenience store guys, I just went back out to just. I would drive, I would go to one, just go back to the old clients and reach out to them, say, you know what, this is what I'm doing. And, you know, you've got this lifestyle created. Who's protecting it? You know, who's doing it? And my face uh, philosophy that I learned in business, you know what, everybody in this world that comes in has got a lifestyle created, right? It's your commitment to take care of your family. How do you, uh, that's what we want to do. So a lot of you were engaged, you wanted to leave pleasure, yeah. you want to get insurance, which you saw the light at the end tunnel, yeah. but that was the last quarter, yeah. four months left in the year, and your manager said, Lalit, I would really appreciate if you can stay on for three, four more months and yeah. help close out the year based on your goals and targets set up. Yes. And he said, not a problem, and he stayed on. And that's the bridge that yes. you left on, did not, did not burn it behind you. Yes. And that bridge led you to calling on the same client to help at Glacier yeah. set up with the, with the inventory and everything else. Say, listen, I got you in the business. I got you the inventory. Now let's sit and talk about making your life secure, not just for you, for yeah. your wife or kids and family. That's a huge lesson. You know what? Sometimes, a lot of times, we move on in career or career path and we say, you know what? Hell with the past. Let's move on. But you never know what path you take today will yeah. lead to the next connected path. And that's a dot that connected for you. So those were lemons. When we, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we want you to talk about your transition from New York Life to Mass Mutual because you were in sales at first at yeah. New York Life. Yes. And then you got into management. But you were in sales. And when you said, listen, I'm at New York Life, I want to sell and also manage, there was not an option. Yeah. And they said, that's not going to happen. But then you move to a different insurance company where you are managing and also selling. So when we come back, we want to hear all about that. Sure. Guys, come on. It's 1-888-749-1035. Call us and comment. We're watching the show Lemonade with the Seth Brothers. And we'll be right back and squeeze some more lemons with Lala Jalan. Welcome back to the show, Lemonade with the Seth Brothers. When life throws you lemons, what do you do? You make some lemonade. This is your host, Kunal, with my co-host, Smitha, and I guess, Lalit Jalan. Lalit, we were talking about your journey from being in family business 
to going and working for Glacier Company, and then in the insurance and financial service industry, where you've been there for 25 years. Yeah, yeah Lalit, so 25 years, I mean, that's a lot. And tell me, you've done so much. You have about, what, 5,866. I really like that number, by the way. 5,866 clients, guys. That's a lot. Well, actually, about 10% of my mind, the rest of his team, I get to bless to manage a lot of the team. So that's over 5,800. Last time I checked, uh, which was this morning, 5,866 households. So let's oh, talk about how you did, how you created your team. So you went from Glacier to uh, New York Life. Okay. And then you decided that New York Life, you got into the insurance business, you figured out how to do this, how to work your sphere. You turned into, you went from your uh, Glacier, the adult beverage industry, to insurance, became the Badshah of insurance, and then decided, you know what? I don't want to just recruit. I also want to sell insurance because I'm great at it. So then you turn into Mass Mutual. You changed or you moved to Mass Mutual. And how did the whole team come about? Actually, you know, go a step back. I became a manager at New York Life back in 2001. And uh, I, not 2001. And I was a manager for about two weeks and 9-11 happened. Right? So, uh, and I'm like... Uh, and we're about to get to the boot camp, you know, recruiting new school. And, you, you know, I, I was lucky, very, very fortunate enough to bring one of my uh, really good friends. Who's, uh, his name is Neeraj Patel. Not that many recruiters can... By the way, guys, let me keep a count. There's uh, too much name dropping here. Okay. I mean, I'm kidding. <laughs> come on. Hey, <laughs> hey you got to thank for you. You know, like, hey, I, I, I'm a big... What are you going to thank me, Lala? <laughs> hey, thanks for bringing me on. Hey, we're still waiting on the check for the policy, all right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> So, it's going to bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> and we take EFP, baby. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and luckily, you know, not that many recruiters can or, ma or uh, managers can say, you know, your first agent. And I went to actually deliver uh, a policy, uh, uh, actually in Winnie, Texas, and I asked them for a referral. And most of the practice has been based on referral. And I'm a common thing that I've always asked, you know, like we do business, I always ask, say, hey, how was our service? Give us a feedback, you know, hey. How did we do? Do we live up to the expectation? What that kind of does, it sets up the expectation, hey, or it gives you improvement opportunity. They tell you, hey, Lalit, you were a little pushy, you were, you pushed too hard. And, uh, so or, the feedback loop and uh, building relationships is your secret sauce. Yeah, part of it. And then you go back and then say, hey, hey we wanted, uh, when you ask for referrals, it's, that's the, been 80% of our business has been referrals. And asking to use all uh, the secret sauces, you ask them, say, hey, you know, we just took care of your stuff. Who are people who are just as nice as you that probably need our services? I mean, you, you know, you build them up and nobody wants to say, you know, I'm an asshole, right? <laughs> so, so who are nice as you that I want to come see? Uh, 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 I'll go ahead and pay the fine. <laughs> uh, 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 so, so usually they end up getting referrals. So I ask... Uh, uh, they mean, actually, the Mean Brothers and Winnie, that say referred to Neeraj. And Neeraj was somebody that I got into before he got into the liquor business. He came to, re, he looked at our store and then he got into the business. And I told him, Neeraj, hey, uh, I think you should come take a look at it. That was my first recruit. And then he, uh, that was back in. And your first recruit is still with you today. He came over from, uh, we left New York Live. Yeah, and then we had an opportunity to buy a what you call a property casualty insurance right next to Raja Allied American, and we still own part of it. He runs it, and we got some other partners. So uh, we've had that. So we kind of dabbled into different things uh, to getting into. So he and then later he joined me with actually Mass Mutual back. Uh, it's been almost seven years. That so is, I love this. But tell me about H two G. H2, you know. That is, that is something that I, when you were talking about it, I was super in intrigued. Well, you, you know, in life, you got to have H2O, right? You All the to, time. I have it right here. You got it right here, right? So I, I think uh, this is patent pending. So, you know, if anybody. You, you, you <laughs> trade, trade market. Trade uh, market. Trade market. So it's, I think that's a secret sauce. I think when you're getting any sales career, I think you have to have H2G. And now you're probably wondering what H2G. What is I, H2G? I think you have to be humble. You have to be humble enough to know, hey, what you're good at, what you could do, and then you got to have the hunger. That's where the two G uh, H's come in. And then the third of all, you got to have the G. You got to be gutsy enough to get off and to go do it. I love it. So humble, 
hunger, and gutsy. Gutsy. I love it. H two G. Yeah. Awesome. So tell me more. So then you you joined uh, Mass Mutual, and you've been there for how long now? About ten years. Ten years. And recently, Lalit, in mid of last year, in the middle of COVID, you had a huge, huge lemon thrown at you. Let's talk a little bit about that. Well, everybody, actually, Kunal can attest to everybody in the Jalan or the Singh family has a, what you call a heart heart problem history, or most of it is a con uh, we we have a, a heart murmur. And about uh, back in August of 2018. Uh, or June, you know, I found out I had to have a, a heart valve replacement, and then I got that done, and then everything was all good. I was out, and I got to live all the products that we sell, disability, and all this stuff, and I got to see all the effects of it, you know, when it works, and and, and all the stuff works when you're out. And then, then last year on April 2nd, I, uh, I went to the hospital. Uh, you, uh, you know, you were actually the symptom for COVID, and the heart valve infection saved the fever, sweaty, so the cough. So it happened when it, it, they actually I thought uh, I had, had COVID. And one time that they thought I had a tuberculosis. So all the symptoms are the same. And then they, they found out I, I had to have another heart valve. I had an infection. So redone out. The, so then when, when they did it, well, they found out before they were to do the surgery, about four days before, uh, I wasn't feeling real good. And they found out I had a stroke. So the stroke led to the, and they could because I'm on the blood thinner, and so, so that led to uh, basically say we can't postpone the surgery. I was in the ICU for about 10 days. I spent about 128 days in the hospital last year, uh, and everybody at Memorial Hermann, uh, actually in the medical center, they know who Jalan is. So because of the amount and um, for the time they spent, and then hopefully get back. I never thought about it because you know I've always had a. You know, one of the philosophies my grandmother always taught me, you know, the reason, you know, I've had three women that have been very, very, uh, that have had a very big influence in my life. And one's been my grandmother, you know, when it, she's pretty much raised us, you know, me coming, and coming here. The reason she's really important is uh, she raised us, and she became a widow at age 35 with five kids. She was one of the big supporters that told you, hey, why do you want to go do this? And I told her I'm going to do this. She said, really, you're going to be good at it. And she always gave me the philosophy, you know what? Mm -hmm. So, and I've always thought about that mentality, you know, this is how you're going to, and, and I would take it, get offensive. I like I always said, I've had, I can count on my both hands how many people have told me no, but I've got a lot of people, uh, they're still thinking about it. And then, you know, with this, uh, the same skill set that we've learned over the years, and I was really blessed to, you know, go to New York Life, had a good trainer. I've had two uh, great people like, uh, uh, Sam Bridgman, uh, who's our trainer there, he, he talked about uh, uh, what you call, uh, the, uh, uh, it's called a common denominator for success. Mm. And that's, uh, that's stuck with me for a long time in my life. And, he, uh, you know, if, if you get a chance, if anybody in the sales business, Google that. It's like a 10-minute video. This is uh, it's an insurance uh, guy. He talked about what people, for common den uh, denominator for success, what successful people do, what the failures won't do is setting up the time, doing the, forming the activities, right? So that was a really, really big uh, effect that helped me uh, in my career. So, hey, setting up the time, getting on, and not taking a no for an answer, you, you know. Uh, uh, no to me means not, not right now. So you shared about your three women, you said. One was grandma. What about the other two? The other one's my mom, uh, uh, you know, uh, and the other is my wife, uh, you know, who's was actually, you know, being in the insurance business, you wanted to quit. My mom and, and, and my wife is always like, I, I wanted to quit like in the first six months about 18 times. Because, you know, I, I've never thought, uh, especially, you know, you're coming from the liquor store, you always had a tangible product. You know, people always want to buy it, in the, and especially you going to deal. So when you're in the insurance and financial, you're selling a, a promise, Right. The promise that they don't see, they, they're taking and say, hey, God forbid something happened to me. Hey, uh, this is a promise you're selling. Hey, we're going to take care of your commitments, whatever you promise to your family to your, uh, or to your loved ones. And that's it, pretty much as people have to, what you call, buy your, actually buy you. Mm -hmm. So that was a little transition that took. And then and those ladies say, hey, you know what, go back at it. And, you know, you, you could do it. So that's where I'd say, hey, 
wipe the slate, go back next day at it, and you know what? It just turned out. And what's yeah. amazing about it is the over 5,000 families that you have helped get security and safety, there's over $6 billion of debt benefits that your organization has written. I mean, that's yeah. incredible. Thank you. And I mean, that's... It's not, I, I'm the only responsible personal you for that. team. But that's why... Your organization. Yeah. Your yeah. leadership yeah. skills allows you to attract talent. Yes. You train, coach, mentor them to be effective in setting insurance policy. So people watching us or listening to us, what do you need to do to join or be an insurance agent in Texas market? You have to take an exam. Is it a process? Can you walk us through that real quick? Sure. Uh, uh, we live in a great state of Texas. If you go with certain carriers, and Mass Mutual being one of them, and uh, not saying the competitor's name, we can get you a temporary license, which in the state of Texas that we could do, and there's about a handful of companies that can do it. So, and you go through the background check, and then what you do is uh, once you go get your license, and most of the insurance carriers will pay for your license, and we sponsor you, and and once you've done that, and then we have a what you call our boot camp. Uh, that we have, uh, most of the carriers will have our things. Uh, luckily, I've been fortunate with two carriers that are real, actually big believer of training. You've got to know what, uh, create a system, you know, for having a system for your marketing, system for your language, how you're going to market, and the bottom line, you know, uh, accountability system. So those are the good carriers. And then if you if you ever definitely want to reach out, reach out to me, you know, uh, what you call, uh, we have an app. You know, get a little. You got to shameless. You got to get a plug in. You could at, at, at uh, you could text me at what you call thirty six twenty zero. Love it. So that allows you to download the app, or you can call me on my cell phone seven one three five four five nine two six nine. We'll definitely will share the opportunity. You know, and to talk about that. So just to recap, what you're saying is, someone called you today and says, "I'm interested in being a life insurance professional." <laughs> What you're saying is you can get them a temporary license while they're being trained to the program. Yes. And are you saying they can start setting insurance tomorrow? Once the temporary license gets approved, that takes about two weeks process. Okay, and so two-week process to get that approved, and then what happens? And then you, then you basically get your license. The contract goes to home office. You're live, and then you actually start selling, and you start going to training. And the one thing that we help in our practice that we try to go see, uh, we don't let our agents in on our practice. I have a team of, you know, two other guys that we say that help me, and, and, and we don't let you go like our philosophies say. Like the first 15 case you do, the first five you're gonna do, you're gonna do it with the mentor. You're gonna do the introduction. You're gonna have uh, actually hand it over to the team guy. He does all the stuff, and you end up getting all the commission. There's other companies out there. They take your cases. We don't do that. Ours is you. You the, do the, It's your case, your client. We're not gonna. We're not gonna make you do that. And then sec. And the next five cases you we do. That's from A to B, of the whole process when you're doing this. Next five cases you do. Uh, we're gonna do it jointly. And then the next five you do. You're doing it. We're we're, we're telling you what you did. So you good. have a process in place. Yes. To train coach people. So anyone listening in today who is thinking, planning to create more passive income opportunities. Is this a business you got to do it full time, or can you also do it on the side? I think if you're gonna make the real money, you gotta just like your real estate, right? You gotta be full. But I you mean, can start on a part time basis. You, you can see how it feels it, yeah. and then quit your job. Yes. And what you're saying is, in a matter of two weeks, they have a temporary license. But in a few weeks or next few months, you get them to get the license, which I believe you said your company sponsors it. Yes. Then you personally coach, mentor them first few information. Yeah. And what you're saying is, if you want to get those calls today, they're going to text you at 36260. Oh, 36260. That's what I said. Oh, 36260. Okay, my bad. 30 <laughs> 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 Right? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> or you can call Alijalan directly on his cell phone. Right, what's your number one more time? That's 713-545-9269. Hey, can you say Chatti Chabbi Zero? I probably should. Shunya. <laughs> Uh, you, you missed out Shunya. Uh, listen, Shunya, zero, they all know zeros. <laughs> yeah. But guys, we were engaging with Lala Janan over here, who came to America at the age of nine, worked in family business for over a decade, and then went to work for corporate America, worked for a company called Glacier. But that Glacier company was a bridge he used to build his empire in the insurance industry, where he's been there for 25 years. First with New York Life, then with Mass Mutual, but what he loved was selling. 
and at New York Life, he was given opportunity to manage, but could not sell. But over the years, like you shared with us, over 5,000 families that you've helped, and over $6 billion of debt benefits. So guys, it was amazing having Lalit on the show today. You shared your number. Would you like to share it one more time, Lalit? Well, which number? Whichever you like, my friend. Well, uh, one thing that I wanted to uh, uh, hate, uh, uh, you know, especially in coming from uh, sale, uh, sales background, you, you know, uh, I, very early, and I want to give a credit to this gentleman. His name is Ray Vitek. And Ray joined, I'm, I am what you call a July 4th baby, and Ray joined business in October 1st of 1970, and he told, gave the meaning of success. And he said, if he, back when I started off New York Life, they said you got six months to hit certain amount of production. If you don't do that, you're gone. Mm -hmm. Same Dunda. Uh, uh, Dunda, you know, you, 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 <laughs> every sales business, especially in the financial, and I barely made that number the first thing that I was in my uh, 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 six months, it was tough. It, you know, anything that you want to do, it, it's hard work. And, you know, I think if you stick to it long enough and if you're passionately involved in it, I think you're going to have, a, you, you're going to do really well. And I've all, kind of always had a philosophy, you know, if you're, uh, you know, I'm a big, uh, you know, in my life, I, I always call, I got four F's, uh, you know, that big uh, acronym is coming from it. It's faith, family, fun, and, uh, and football. <laughs> and the reason why I bring football is because, you know, it's starting at, you know, I played uh, uh, at junior high. I played football, and I wasn't good at it. I was like the last uh, guy, but I when I got to do, but the values that I learned, and then when some of our coaches said, you know, the, uh, most of you have seen the movie, what you call Friday Night Lives, and there's a big theory. If you've got a clear eyes, and what you call your heart is full, you can't lose. And wow. that's the I philosophy that. I think you've got to run your life with, and that's really been... You, you, you know, I, I love to share that with the uh, recruits. And, then, and the other, going back, I think you want to tell them is, uh, I always tell, you know, they're in, in this world, uh, do we talk about three yes, people? Yes, please tell us. So the, uh, I always tell them in my recruiting or, or, or clients, I tell them, you know, in this world, there's basically three type of people. Would you agree everybody that comes is going to leave one day, right? So when the first person, personality A, when they're gone, you know, at your funeral is your rabbi or your priest or your malvi. They come to the funeral and your immediate family comes. Then after your funeral, nobody ever remembers you. Personality B, you know, that's when they pass away. They say, thank God that son of a gun's gone. <laughs> right? Number or whatever, you know. The personality C <laughs> is everything they touch, they leave it in a better place. So when, when they're gone, that's everybody in, everybody's mama comes to their funeral. You know, there's no standing room. Not only the beauty of the thing, that that has stuck with me so long in my heart. It said, not only do I, every person that I touch, I give them, a, I actually become a personality seat. Not only that, I have a, I, I recruit people that actually give the, per, uh, actually bring people see uh, personality in this. And that's been my driving factor, you know, you know and that's why, like I said, all oh, that 5,800, you know, I've, I've only probably have about 600 of clients, but a lot of the clients that we have, you know, and the big focus is, hey, you've committed to your family. We want to make sure whatever you promise is, God forbid something happened, we want to deliver on it. Lalith, you talked about the three personalities and how you are um, helping your recruits become personality three. But let me take that over to your um, family. I know Amito is your son, is definitely personality C or person C, because I know him very well. And I'm telling you, let me, I'm not going to call myself an auntie, but all the aunties <laughs> he just love did. him. I know, but we all do because he is so, so kind and so good at heart. And when we see that boy, we know you've done well, you and your wife, Jay. So guys, I mean, Lalit, really, that personality C shines in your son. Appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. But this was amazing. Absolutely amazing, Lalit. We had so much fun getting to know you and really getting inspired by your uh, success factors and your secret sauce. Tell us a little bit again, uh, where can people reach out to you if they want to become an insurance agent or if they even have any questions about insurance or what they want to buy insurance? Well, uh, the cell number is 713-545-9269 or you could text me. Uh, we have our own app. That's 36260 and text LULIT and you'll be able to download the app. Guys, that was Lalit Jalan on the show.